What's up everyone, today is Monday, September 14th at 8.24 a.m. Gonna do a video watch this today. Uh, so for those that don't know, I do free video watch this every single Monday for the viewers on YouTube and usually every day or every other day I do this for the members inside MIC. This is kind of uh, my way of showing you guys my thought process in the morning, how I'm preparing for the morning, what I'm looking for and all that stuff. So. Uh, number one is today I have a really, really special YouTube live that I'm going to do at 11 o'clock. Uh, it's kind of like an announcement that I want to make, so be sure to tune into that at 11. Uh, other than that, let's uh, let's get started. So SAVA, this stock is easy to borrow and it is day one and uh, it's, it's uh, phase two news. So this, and it's above VWAP, so this to me is not a short, right? So... The whole thing about stocks sometimes is knowing which stocks to trade and which stocks not to trade. If a short seller is telling you that you don't want to short the stock, you should avoid the short. That means that the stock is a long. If a long bias trader is not looking to buy the stock, if the stock is broken, that stock is a short. So use the context clues, use the ideas, use the information you have to make a thesis. All morning we were warning against shorting SAVA because what is the edge? There's no edge. It's strong, it's easy to borrow, it has volume, it has news, there's no reason to short it. If and when it does break down, then, will we, then we will be there. But until then, this is a long, and for me, I'm not really gonna touch it. Maybe if it goes back towards VWAP, I'll try to buy it for a long, but I'm not touching this on the short side. It's too dangerous, it's too risky. BFRA, uh, there's a low-hanging fruit, uh, kind of pushed up on Friday and then tanked all day, so, if we get a morning pop towards kind of, let's do this. Towards kind of, call it 920s-ish. I mean, 880s is red to green, and then you can kind of go to 920s, but essentially what I'm looking for is again, 880s, 920s in the morning. Um, CHNR, this is kind of already broken pre-market. I mean, I know I mentioned I wanted uh, 160s by myself, 150, half dollar mark, 160, 170, and stop out 180. So this one, I'm just gonna look to scale every dime if we get there. TAOP, again, a low hanging fruit. This one, I not really in love with, right? If we get towards kind of this 320s, 330s level here, which kind of matches up with yesterday's VWAP, then I'm gonna be looking to short there, but until then, not really gonna touch it. JILL, similar thing, looks like it kind of broke the death line pre-market. Uh, one dollar is obviously going to be uh, some resistance, but I kind of want 110, 120, 130. Uh, if this thing breaks over 150, it is a must stop out no matter what. So should be a pretty straightforward day. A lot of people are going to be watching this SAVA. A lot of people are going to be trading with FOMO. As long as we find other stocks to trade, as long as we find better stocks to trade, uh, we should be able to have an edge. But right now, the edge on this stock as of this moment, because it's above VWAP, because easy to borrow, is on the long side. So stay safe, guys. Be careful. Um, and yep, I will see you guys back in the room. Thanks.